hello so we are about 18 minutes away from painting with primates yeah buddy we brought bananas and grapes so that we can feed the little lemurs and yeah we're almost there i'm pretty excited it says we're gonna arrive at 9 46 and our painting time is at 10. we got some snacks for the lemurs if we don't eat them all how to feed a monkey <laughs> that's so messed up <laughs> <laughs> there you go again. I think we can do I'm this. I'm having to hold the grapes with my left hand. <laughs> no, Dang it. I'm not that far off. Okay, we're on a straight. Oh, uh, perfect. I'm going to film you a little bit. The add on tour will be up tomorrow. We're hoping mid next week. Guinea pigs and copybooks. Yeah, I'm going to They are a rodent. And you will get to feed them. Yeah. More of a rabbit. So this is the example. Again, I thought we were painting with the rubs. Come on, Pendleton. 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 Pendleton is our baby from no, last year. Yeah, so we're not going to paint it. First time, like we said. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, hold on. She got her painting pooped on. Hey, <laughs> It's an island off the coast of Africa, and there's over a bunch of And my mother had her toenails painted red and was sitting out in the back. Some belly rubs. Which is significantly better than mine. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure mine has a birth defect. It's got no color on its face. What do you think? I think it's great. And this so is like me on Thanksgiving. And she acts like she's starving to death. So she's got oh. She's a big girl. Oh. She's a big girl. Oh. She uses her, her paw to like mm -hmm. pull the Push thing away without losing her snack. Wow. And they, I'm glad they communicate somewhat. Oh, maybe we got one buyer. They definitely like the berries more. Oh, we baby. got berries. Are you coming? We got the berries. You're going to have to go for a little. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. We just finished painting with primates. Yeah, man, it was awesome. We're at the Chase Animal Sanctuary, about an hour and a half outside of St. Pete. And just really glad that you guys were able to follow along with us for this journey. Now we are going to grab some snacks and go yeah. to a tiny home. Yep, it's gonna be awesome. We got definitely covered in more paint than we thought, right? Yeah. Yeah, not so bad. But time for food and then see where we're staying for the night. Noms. <laughs> then I got distracted by lemurs and this really, really beautiful lady that was sitting next to me. Was it a lemur? No, no, a beautiful lady. I was hitting on you. That was my attempt at flirting. Ooh. So we are now at the tiny house and I've decided to name this place Janice's Tiny Hoobit House farm because her husband's name is Rick and he was making a sign for another tiny home which I will show you in a little bit and he accidentally named it the Hoobit house instead of the Hobbit house. This is Mr. Rick. He does all the hard work here. He's an absolute legend. So what is, what is your best joke or life advice for those watching? I don't know. <laughs> Just keep 
Keep moving. Keep, keep doing this. Yep. Yeah, just keep moving. <laughs> well, we appreciate you, man. Thank you so All much. All right, you God bet. Bless you. But this is our tiny home, and we've already taken a little tour of the property, and I think we're pretty fortunate that we didn't get the actual Hoobit house because Daniel would not fit in it. So let me show you our, our tiny home. Come on. I did not even see this when we came first. We might have to have our coffee here in the morning because this oh, is yeah. so cute. That is very cool. But we did get to meet the gentleman that builds these tiny homes. It's Janice's husband and they are both absolutely adorable. I think Rick's sarcasm is about as good as Daniel's. <laughs> How dare you? So this is actually perfect for us because Daniel can fit all the way in. You can see him. Look, yeah, he fits. <laughs> and this is our bed. Oh, got these huge tall ceilings. I think 10 there. feet. Perfect for a tiny home yeah. and our bed. And her daughter-in-law gave her this fabric and she actually quilted this blanket herself. Um, yeah, coffee, air conditioner, this is all we need, but there is so much more. So we're gonna show you all about this little tiny house farm. So let's show you the rest. So there are a few other showers and bathrooms on the lot, but because our tiny home is right here, this is gonna be the shower in the bathroom that we're using. It's really cute. So I'm gonna show you just quick, quickly. How nice. A little herbal essence moment. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. No, wait, that's not right. This is a swing that is attached to the camper's kitchen. Apparently, I think this is the newest addition to the property. Um, I love swings and there's actually a few of them, but let me show you the camper's kitchen. So apparently, Rick, who's in his like 60s, built this whole thing. She wanted to have a camper's kitchen, so bought a pergola and he had to make it a lot bigger than it was. But there's grills, there's another swing. There's rocking chairs, refrigerator, sink. Apparently the water is really good. And she's a thrifter like me. And I think that he just picked this off of a curb and put this whole thing together. Super cute, absolutely adorable. I want one in my backyard now. <laughs> so I used to live in Hawaii. And the only place I've seen elephant ears this big personally is in Hawaii. She said apparently the horses extras is why this stuff grows so well this is the one that she said it's not full grown but like when you squeeze it and this stuff it smells really good she said you can like use it as shampoo it smells amazing i don't know if you can use it as shampoo or not but <laughs> yeah not to eat use it as shampoo oh lovely mm. Oh yes, I'm very happy right now. Kitties! I'm making a friend. Hey kiddo! Aww. Finally! You know, I love animals, but if Lori's around, they always love her and never me. I have so much footage of this being true, even in this video. Keep watching. Alright guys. Yes. They're very friendly and gorgeous. This is the property right next to ours. We had actually looked at this one for a tiny home, but we preferred the other one. Shh. <laughs> well, it's the next morning, and it um, seems like Lori has uh, picked up a friend, so let's go meet him. Well, hello. I was rubbing his booty a second ago and he like was so excited and then he fell over. <laughs> oh yes. I think I'm gonna get to find a friend. They always come to Lori, never me. Hey buddy. Hi pups. Hey puppies. What you doing, pooch? You're fogging me up. You see that? That's what I'm talking about. Every time, I'm gonna go find a spider or something. It's our friend Carrot. Look at how much dirt he's gotten. No, don't run, Carrots. 
Don't you reject me. Don't worry, he'll come back. Yeah, yeah. see, again. There's a baby. Yeah. You get so dirty. Why do you get so dirty, honey? You Every time. Go to St. Pete. Oh, right. Did you have fun? I had so much fun. <laughs> that was a really, really awesome experience. And we know it wasn't technically a tiny house. It was glamping, um, which means that we have some external bathrooms, showers, which were all fantastic, clean, worked great. The water was super hot. This is not camping where I'm from. True. Plenty of animals for Lori to play with because they completely reject me every single time. I think I'm getting used to it. It kind of still hurts a little bit, but we had an awesome time between painting with the primates here at Fort Brook Animal uh, Horse Farm, um, just enjoying the the environment here. So quiet, so beautiful, and huge shout out to a restaurant that we went to, um, which is Florida Cracker Seed Lot. At those places, that place is amazing. Not only because the food was awesome, but unfortunately, I lost my wallet. <laughs> and returned over an hour later. The food was amazing, the service was amazing. They were already closed. Incredibly honest, waited for us to drive back yep. to pick up the wallet. So then we came here, had an adventure. It was just one adventure after the next, but it has been so wonderful having you with us. Do you all have any other recommendations of stuff that we should do in Florida? Thanks for tagging along and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.